Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to create stylish shape layers with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create background shape layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name background, click OK. And go to effects presets, search effect fill. Select fill, let's use for background and change here color to white and lock layer then go to shape layers hold this icon select this ellipse tool and let's hold shift make one ellipse like this and click tool and change name shape one so in this time go to window and enable align click this icon and this icon for move the object to center also, we can enable here title action save. Okay, so select this shape one, right mouse, go to layer styles, and we can see here more styles. For example, shadows, inner shadow and drop shadows, outer glow, inner glow, and bevel emboss, satin color overlay, and gradient overlay, and less one stroke. So we can click here show all for add all these styles. But I will use only two styles for create stylish shape layer. First, let's add this gradient overlay. And we can see our layer styles and gradient overlay. Let's open inside and go to edit gradient. So, first select this and go to select main color. I will use this. And last color, go to click here and move to left for white. Select this first color, let's change like this. Okay, let's click OK. So let's zoom in here and we can change gradient smoothness like this. Okay, let's keep here 50 and we can change angle like this. So we have styles here, linear, radial, and angle. Let's for example select angle. Or let's select reflected. Okay, not bad, but I will keep linear. So let's close overlay and select shape layer 1 again. Right mouse and go to layer styles. And let's select inner glow. So open inner glow and change size like this. Okay, very nice and we can change color here let's click color cube select blue and change color like this it's more yellow click ok nice and we can change opacity here like this let's keep like this 75 and noise we can add noise here Let's add 3. Okay, very nice. And we can change chalk. Let's keep this 4 or 2. Okay, so and we can change range here. Let's see. Let's change this 60. Okay, let's try change 55. Nice. So select the shape one and close settings. Move to right and control D. Move to left. So I want to show difference. Let's open inside and select layer styles and delete. And go to fill. Let's select this color. Click OK. So we can see your difference. This is simple shape layer and this is with layer styles. So let's select these two layers and go to pen behind and move the anchor points down. And this. Clicization tool. Select two shape layers again 
and move to down layers. Let's select two layers, press P, make new person keyframe, go to 10 keyframes. For shotgun, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard. And let's move to up. Go to 10 keyframes again. Select first keyframes, copy pass. And select all keyframes, make easy ease. Go to graph editor. Select this middle keyframe. Let's move to left and move to right. Let's see. Okay, back to keyframes. And select all keyframes. Hold, Alt, move to right. And press N for select work area. Let's see. Okay. So, go to last keyframe. And go to three keyframes. For go to frame by frame, use page down in keyboard. One, two, three. Let's move to up. Go to three keyframes again. One, two, three. Select these keyframes, copy pass. And this copy pass. Let's see. Okay, we have problem with last few frames, select last three two frames. Right mouse, go to keyframe interpolation. Change current settings to linear. Click OK. Okay, not bad. And let's select this shape layer 2. Move right. Nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!